we're in the Civic today. We're gonna do the first video on the Civic and that's repairing this windscreen. Yeah, we're gonna try and use this stuff. I hope I don't really make another crack pressing on this. From the inside, guys, as I just mentioned, one year later, you can see nothing has changed. And don't forget, we've had some terrible weather. What's up, guys? Hope you're keeping well. Welcome back to another video. Sorry, I sound all clogged up. I've got a bit of a cold going on, so I might sound a bit like I'm blocking my nose when I'm talking, you know what I mean? But anyway, yeah, we're in the Civic today. We're going to do the first video on the Civic, and that's repairing this windscreen. Um or repairing the chip because it's actually turning into a mini crack at the moment so now i am actually gonna stop you there guys before you watch this video any further this video was actually filmed in 2021 and i, I can't remember the exact month i'll actually put it up on the screen because it shows you know on my phone when i actually filmed this video so it's actually better that I didn't actually release the video that time because now one year has elapsed and you guys will see the difference in the crack a year later, which will be right at the end of this video. So keep an eye, watch till the end and you'll see if things have changed and if this stuff has actually worked. Let's get back to the video. Yeah, we're going to try and use this stuff. Now I could have went through insurance um, to do this because they say you can have a chip fixed for free and if you want a windscreen replacement it's like a hundred pound excess or something but I don't trust them because insurance usually are rip-offs you know it follows on to the next premium you may not have to pay anything for a chip repair but <laughs> I don't know I just don't trust them so I just thought I'll get this thing I can't remember how much it is I'll probably put it up on the screen I think it was about seven quid or ten quid or something but um, I'll try this Rain X windscreen repair. Now I have seen a video online, one video, and it looked pretty much easy. So I thought I may as well make my own video on it. Um, so yeah, I will get that done. The only thing is the weather, this Rain X stuff is a bit weird. You've got to use it in the shade to start off with, and then you've got to cure it in the sun. Now, if you live in Manchester where I am, it's not very sunny most of the time. Luckily, today we actually, I think it's 27 or 28 degrees. So I'm just going to try and set it up, get it done, and then reverse the car down the driveway. Because you can see the sunlight is just hitting my head where the garage is on, you know, on the back of my house. So I'll just reverse the car down the driveway and hopefully the sun can then cure it. You know what I mean? So yeah, let's get on with that, get that done, see how it goes. Hopefully no mistakes and no mess ups but i'll show you guys the crack from the inside of here i don't know if you can see it can you see it there there we go there we go so you can see how it's actually turning into a bit of a mini crack so yeah let's get on with that now anyway all right so this is our kit as you can see there cracks chips stars bullseyes whatever so i'll open it up and um, we can go through what exactly comes in here. Right guys, that's everything that comes in the kits. Comes with a blade to scrape, you know, the crack and scrape away the extra material or resin, rather, should I say, once you've done the repair. Comes with its mount, this little, like, I don't know what you'd call this, like a cup thing or whatever. And that is apparently supposed to go over the actual crack you know it's i think it's rubber yeah there's like a rubber a rubber cup on there so the idea is you set that up put that over it put the resin into that and then you screw this thing down to pump the resin into there basically and then after that take it off put the foam on with a bit more resin and then leave it to cure in the sun and then scrape it off that's what the process is supposed to be let's see how easy it is to actually get it done that way we'll start off by just scraping away again even though i've already cleaned this with auto glim fast glass i'll just scrape away again see if there's any rough edges or any you know things that need to be scraped off there um glass fragments or whatever and then i'll clean it again and then we'll set our tool up and this looks like some sharp blade I'm not gonna lie Whoa. So 
the idea now is to get this set up directly over the crack. I hope I don't really make another crack pressing on this. Look, you can actually see our crack right in the center of that, yeah? So that's in. So the next process is to put this little bugger in there with our rubber our rubber hole on so hopefully if i've centered this correctly that should be exactly over which it looks like over our hole not hole i mean crack so let's just see That actually looks perfect, perfect. So do that again. So what the I'll show you from inside guys. I don't know if this camera will pick all this up, but I'm trying to I might have to turn it upside down to fit it in there. Ah, you can't really see from here. The sun is not helping. But if you look at that, can you see? That is where that is where our chip is right there. All right, so that's that's been cut off as you can see there. So we're gonna get a couple of drops in there. It's a bit awkward because of where it is, but a couple of four. One, two, three. Four. Yeah, that should be enough. Then we put our plug on. I think we'll give it a bit of a oh, you can actually hear it. So now we'll screw that down. That's as far as we can go, guys. So, probably leave that as it is. It says for a couple of minutes. And it says you must, it says you must check inside the car if the rubber mouth has opened wide once you've squashed all that resin into there. Um, I don't see a wide mouth, but I do see some resin there. So, we'll see. Right, so we've left that for about four to six minutes, as it states. And then it says, open the driver, yeah, in case there's any air, and then reinsert it. What I might do, I might actually put another dab of resin in there, just for good measure. I'm going to put another drop for good measure. There you go. And then I'm going to... Put that back in the chamber and squash it again. I wish I could see what it looks like from the inside, you know. Let me have a quick look. So we're gonna squash that back in and leave it for another four to six minutes. All right, guys. So that is that step. I think done. So we are going to now slowly remove it, that's what I'm assuming, we'll screw it out or let's see, uh, turn to the left counterclockwise, remove right. So we're going to turn that to remove our whole apparatus as they say, and then there's these little tabs that you just lift on to remove the whole thing, yeah. Put that to one side. Right. So let's see. Has our stuff gone into there? I don't know if the camera hey, it just won't pick up much this thing today. Maybe that'll be a little bit better. Yeah. So as you can see, that was where our thing was. Our chamber with resin. 
anyway so it says just wipe it you know wipe it and then we're gonna apply a bit of resin with one of these on top and then reverse it down the driveway just to cure in the sun so yeah that's the next step So the next step guys is resin and the strip. Now I don't know how much we're going to put of this. Uh, probably going to put a drop, yeah? And it says do not put any pressure. So you're going to put a drop on there. Probably have a bit of a wiggle. And then it says do not apply any pressure, just put this thing over right guys so now what we're gonna do i'm gonna move the car into the sunlight it says for about five to ten minutes and then we'll scrape you know all the excess resin away and see what our crack looks like so yeah i've just moved it a little bit back and luckily the sun is just peeping over the garage so yeah you can actually see it's in the direct sunlight i don't know we'll see if it works guys you know we've got to give it a go and for the price it's only a couple of quid what i might do is i might after scraping off that resin i might actually um, do a second drop with another you know film on top of that just to like you know go overkill on it and that should cure that so we we'll leave it for 10 minutes and then we'll come back in a sec all right so we've left that for more than 10 minutes probably 30 to 35 minutes I don't know if it's still wet oh so, oh no it's not actually wet it's actually dried so let's scrape what's there and probably put another dose of this stuff so let's give that a bit of a scrape probably do it around it first oh bloody hell <laughs> stuff is quite hmm i like that feeling of how it comes off i'm not gonna lie i don't know if it's done anything guys but and then again yep that looks a lot better than the first one i'll probably lift this one about 20 minutes or so so i'll peel it off and i think it's dry yeah, it's dry. You can actually see. Hey, it looks so much better though. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't know if the camera can pick that up. If you guys can now see that, if it will focus. For some reason it won't focus. Uh, can you see it from that angle? Let me wipe the windscreen from the inside because I've been fiddling with it inside. Let's just give that a wipe from here inside just so we can see what it looks like properly. Oh yeah, that looks uh, quite better, I think. If you guys can see that, I think it looks a little bit better. For me, I'm just bothered that, you know, it hopefully won't spread anymore. But um, yeah, I think it looks a little bit better. Let's have a look again from the outside. I'm struggling to find it, guys. Oh, here's it, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's been now filled in with that resin. So yeah, it looks like it's been filled in properly. Let's hope so. I think it looks a little bit better. I'm going to actually park it back in the shade and compare, you know, for the before and afters because the picture right now in the sun, a crack always is exposed because of the angle of the crack. The sun just makes it amplify, basically. So I'll put it in the shade nicely and then uh, do a before and after for you guys, which I will put up now. And yeah, I think it looks a little bit better, if I'm being honest. More to the point of it not spreading, that's what I'm worried about. Because if it starts cracking all the way, then it's a bit of a pain in the ass. But that should do it. From the inside, guys, 
as I just mentioned, one year later, you can see nothing has changed. And don't forget, we've had some terrible weather. 38 degrees, 39 degrees. This car has been in direct sunlight and that crack has not moved at all. It's basically caught it in its tracks. We'll actually take a look from the outside as well. And um, you can you know, make your mind up for yourself whether you'd use this stuff or not. My phone focusing is another issue, but yeah, have a look. It's basically stayed the same. Well, there you have it, guys. As you can see, you know, a year later, and this stuff has definitely held up. Would I use this stuff again? 110% yes. Obviously, maybe the look of it, I'd probably say a professional job would be a better finish in the sense to hide the crack. But as you can see, this crack hasn't moved anywhere since, you know, since I've put this stuff. Um, I don't know. To me, it seems like it's done the job. And for the cost, I mean, it's like a no-brainer, you know what I mean? So, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I will be releasing another banging video on the Civic in the next week or so. So keep an eye on that one. And um, until then, guys, take it easy. Cheers. Bye.